Hey guys, welcome back to our study on characters of the Bible. This week we'll be looking at another great character, this, this character we know as Moses. Now, Moses was first introduced to us as a helpless baby floating down the Nile River. Now, if you remember, he was in a basket. We say he's a basket case, but that's a joke. But because of this rapid increase of population of the Israelites, the Egyptian pharaoh decided to slaughter the Hebrew boys. And then after being placed in the basket and put onto the Nile, Moses was spotted by the Pharaoh's daughter, and she took pity on him, and she drew him out of the river, and then she raised Moses, and and Moses lived as a prince in Egypt. One day, Moses was out and about, and he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew slave, and he immediately killed him, and, and the next day, out of this fear for his life, he ran into the wilderness. There in the wilderness, he encountered seven women by the well who were being bullied by shepherds. Moses not only drew water for them, but he also watered the flock. And Jethro, the the father of the seven young women, was very impressed, and he welcomed Moses into the family. And Jethro even offered his daughter, Zipporah, to, to Joseph as a wife. Now Moses and Zipporah had two children, Gershom and Eliezer, Eliezer, who who were counted as part of the Levi tribe. And this Levi tribe was a, a priestly tribe dedicated to the responsibilities of worship in the tabernacle. Now Moses went from being the prince of Egypt to herding sheep in the Midian. But God had more plans for for Moses. One day Moses received a call from God near Sinai. And he was met by a burning bush. This bush was burning, but it was not going away. It was not being consumed. And God told Moses about the people who were suffering and how he wanted them, he wanted them, brought to a a land flowing with milk and honey. God wanted Moses to persuade the Pharaoh to let his people go. But at the same time, God was going to harden Pharaoh's heart. Now God gave many signs to persuade the Pharaoh. We we call them the ten plagues. And Pharaoh had a, a hard, very hard heart and dismissed Moses each time he pled. But the tenth plague changed it all. The tenth plague, which is is celebrated as the Passover today, was when all the Egyptian firstborns were killed. This made Pharaoh let all the Israelites leave. Now, Moses started bringing the people to the promised land that God had given them. But they encountered many hardships, such, such as the Egyptian armies at their backs. However, God was always following Moses' footsteps, and and when they were surrounded by the army at the Red Sea, God had responded to Moses' cry, and and he parted the Red Sea using Moses' rod. Another hardship was the wilderness they had to walk through. There there is no doubt that the wilderness brought out an unfaithfulness of the Israelites. They they began cursing God and compared their life during the Exodus to the life they had as slaves. They, They said that they were fine living as slaves with plenty of bread to eat. It was better than in the wilderness starving to death. God had listened to Moses and his people's words and he sent down bread from heaven. This bread is called manna. When when he finally reached the promised land, 40 years later, many of the people were not able to enter, not even Moses. It was because of the sins they had created while coming to the land. Moses had broken the rock in order to get water, much to God's dismay. Nevertheless, 
Moses was the greatest prophet who was chosen by God to lead the Israelites out of slavery from Egypt. He was given a hard task that he himself did not have any faith in doing. That was to persuade the Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. He fought through the wilderness and and he accepted his fate that he was never able to enter the promised land. Now, this was just a quick hit of the highlights of this man named Moses. And if you'd like to find out more about him, you can start in the book of Exodus. And it, it goes throughout Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and it ends in Deuteronomy. So I hope you check that out. So I, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Tune in next week when we look to a, a man named Joshua. It ought to be interesting as well. So remember, God made you, God loves you, and God wants to be your friend. We'll see you all next week.